Hello and welcome to this episode of Ask the Expert. My name is Benedict and I'm the team leader of our services product management and technical sales support. Today's topic will be how to retrofit the easy filter into a cooling circuit of a machine. As you know, the cooling units of your Trumpf machine or laser have to be maintained once a year. This includes the time-consuming replacement of the cooling water. The easy filter can be used with most of the Trumpf machines and lasers. The water treatment can be done by yourself or, of course, by a Trump service engineer. With Easy Filter, we offer you an alternative water treatment instead of water change. Check out how convenient it is to use the system. Let's have a closer look at the cooling unit. This is an example of what it can look like. If you have a different cooling unit, please have a look at the documentation for more detailed information. But even if it looks different, the process of installing the Easy Filter is quite similar. First, Remove the existing connector from the drainage hose. Then, stick the shutoff valve onto the drainage hose. Now, stick the remaining hose into the shutoff valve. Now we have to prepare the tank itself. Remove the tank cover and drill a hole with a diameter of approximately 16.5 millimeters into the cover. Use the conical drill that is part of the starter set. Then stick the bulkhead connector through the hole from the inside and fasten from the outside with a sealing washer and the nut. Now attach the tank cover to the tank. Next, guide the free end of the already mounted hose through the process cooler up to the mounted bulkhead connector in the tank cover. Attach the right angle connector to the end of the hose and stick it onto the bulkhead connector in the tank cover. Now we will attach the filter valve to the hose. Determine a suitable location for the easy filter outside of the machine. Then cut the hose with a hose cutter and shorten it if necessary. You don't need to use the full length of the hose. Next, stick the fitting into the filter valves. Stick the adapter plugs into the filter valves. Stick the right angle plug connectors into the adapter plugs. Now we have to pay attention to the arrows on the filter valves for the direction to flow. Stick the open ends of the hose into the right angle plug connectors. A tip. Mark the filter valve with a waterproof felt marker. Write down the corresponding cooling circuit. Let's do the last job. If the stop valves on the pumps in the process cooler were closed at the beginning, open the stop valves again. Shut off valves upstream of the filter valves should be kept closed. Now switch on the process cooler and allow the pumps to run. Please check that all the newly mounted connections don't leak. An ultimate tightness check is only possible once the easy filter itself is mounted. Check the cooling water level at the level indicators of the tanks and refill cooling water if necessary. Please stick protective caps onto the filter valves. Put all the covers back on the process cooler. The cooling units are now prepared for conditioning with the easy filter. And please remember, this work is done only once per machine. The hoses and filter valves stay with the machine and do not have to be removed after servicing the cooling units. Thank you for watching this episode of Ask the Expert and see you next time.